Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 5 Strikers and we are leaving Okinawa today. We finished up the dungeon, it's okay. ready to move on out. Let's start the mission. Did those Shisa statues show up in our thing here? Let's see, I'm looking around. Oh yep, there they are on the on the desk there. There's two of them. Those are cute. Cool. So it just automatically displays all the things that we've been finding. That's cool. Okay. So, we probably should look at fusions real quick. We did not look at them at Hello, all during this entire uh You wish dungeon. to browse the what would you like to this persona has been registered in its present condition, performing a fusion. Okuni Nish, o, Okuni Nushi, and Mithras. Okay. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which. Gradually restores HP, and it can stack. You're already strong against Curse, so that doesn't matter. You have three different weaknesses. Is this? Now, let us begin. I'm Mithras. You who have obtained my mask, I shall become a ray of hope shining deep within your heart. Okay. It seems that it can gain new power. Okuni Nushi. Choose which You probably will mm, let's do concentrate. lot of these. It's light physical, medium physical. And then Rita drop is always good to have too. Is this be born anew? I am Okuni Nushi. My sword, my bow, the, these tools which formed this fine land shall now grant you power as a mask. you be registering. Awaken your new self. You wish to strengthen it. Saka, Lilim, Satanta. What sorts of levels do I need them Performing to be at to fusion. make them feasible in... Are you unable to decide? 
37 Neko, 36 Arabaki, and I can make a Kakuri Hime. Okay. Okay, so Queen Ma Mab and Kikuri Hime are the only ones that I could feasibly. Please take your the, time. Un the only unregistered ones I could make. Okay. I could probably level them up to that. I don't think Arabaki or Neko are that far from that. Question is, is do I want to do that? You wish to browse? The Please take a look. Yeah, they're not very far. Is this okay? You may take it with you. So Neko. Is this okay? You do not have the funds. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I need an Arabaki. May luck be on your side. I also have a couple Persona who have been lingering around for a while that I can't really use in any high-level hmm. fusions. Like Pisaka, Lilum, Satanta. I'm considering just getting rid of them. Cool. That just gives me points. Alright, I think I'll just wait on that. Okay, so I'll, I'll need to pick up an Arabaki and then I'll be able to make that. Um, so that one will just have to wait. Go to the next city. What are you gonna do? Alright, let's go. Next up is Kyushu. Let's do this. Ferry departing from Kukojima, main deck. Hello, Commissioner. I've just boarded the ferry back to the mainland. I'll lose signal soon, so this will have to be brief. Well done. I've read reports from the local precinct. So there's now a body in play, is there? And what of the research facility? While there, I found a list of individuals who are believed to be victims of changes of heart. And why is that? Explain. Of course. Not only was the document tampering vice minister on there, but both of the Sapporo Central Councilmen, too. So their hearts were changed by Medis. Most likely. At the very least, Medis is benefiting from whoever has the power to change hearts. If we keep digging into the people from the list and their connections to Medis, the mystery ought to solve itself. I'll bring everything I have to HQ once I'm ashore. I also plan to send it all to the local precinct back on the island. Well done, Hasegawa. You've brought us that much closer to solving this case. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> it sure is a good thing we didn't bust the Phantom Thieves. Thanks to their help, we might actually be able to blow this case wide open. You seem pleased. Oh. Well, it's just that... Leave it. From now on, be ready for things to swing into high gear at a moment's notice. And keep your eyes open. At this point, there's no telling between friend and foe. I understand. I'll report when I've arrived. Zenkichi's investigation is going. He did say he'd contact us once he figured something out, but it's never easy to wait. We'll do what we can for now. All we can do right now is put our faith in him. He's the only one who can get the job done. Guess we ended up relying on him a lot, huh? All of us wish to uncover the truth behind this case. In this, our goals are aligned. Yeah, until his boss tells him he has to arrest us. In the end, he'll be on our side, but there'll be a moment of tension coming up where he's told to arrest us and he might actually go through with it partway. That's right. And as long as we stay on the lookout for Chales, 
we'll be doing our part. That said, we'll arrive in Fukuoka pretty soon. Sophia, do you sense anything? Hmm. Nothing unusual detected. Not even what I felt in Okinawa. So Fukuoka doesn't have a jail then? Strange. The kata is quite populated, so I figured we would find at least one. Yeah, if only we could fast travel in reality. That'd speed up our search. Wouldn't less that be nice? Less jails means less trouble, though. Good point. Maybe we should just check Fukuoka off and move on. <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh what's girl. What's wrong, Makoto? Oh, it's nothing. Just my lower back aching a little from the drive. Attention! We have an emergency! Get this woman to sick bay ASAP! Mako-chan, you're not hurt, are you? She needs a break. Is it because we made you do all the driving? Well, I was aiming for a straight shot to Kyushu. But I never planned on this. We should take a break. Agreed. I think we could all use a break right about now. Let's stop here. I think we need more than just a break. We need rest. It's important to let yourself fully recover. Precisely. Straining yourself will only lead to injury. Let us stay in Fukuoka for the night. Then it's decided. I'll pull off the highway. Fukuoka at last! Ready to make some nostalgia happen? Nostalgia? But this is our first time here. So this is Hakata Station, the gateway to Fukuoka. Huh. So like, if we're in Fukuoka, and this is the main station, shouldn't they call it Fukuoka Station? Trivia. Interestingly enough, there is a Fukuoka Station located in Toyama Prefecture to the north. Oh, really? All the way up there? Then does that mean there's a Toyama Station here in Fukuoka? <laughs> I don't think they'd switch things up on purpose. Anyway, I understand this place is Fukuoka's central activity hub. Let's find a hotel. That would be wise. We should find a place to stay so Mako-chan can recover. Sorry. Thanks for understanding, though. Hey, anything for you, Who's girl. It? First we grub down, then we hit the hay. You'll be good in no time. There you have it. Sophia, you know the drill. Based on data from previous drills, I found us an appropriate hotel in addition to a restaurant nearby. Wow, Sophia, you work fast. Okay, everyone. It's time for some R&R. &R. I'm awed by the soup's creamy golden hue. It's met with dots of green onion and dashes of red ginger. These three colors combine to form an exquisite harmony in my bowl. I dare not take another sip, lest this masterpiece be ruined. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna go hungry that your, way. Your uh, masterpiece is gonna get cold. Oh, I gotta say, these food stalls have their charm. Even I feel right at home here. Hey, let me have a little taste. It's hot, so be careful. Uh, could you, uh, blow on it? The feline tongue is sensitive. <laughs> so you finally admit you're a cat. Over ramen. Here, Makoto, have some of my chashu pork. They say it'll boost your energy. Ooh, take mine too. Have some garlic too. <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. How's your lower back doing, Mako-chan? Better after a nice hot bath. That always seems to do the trick. That being said, I probably shouldn't be on the road tomorrow, if only to avoid causing an accident. All right, then we'll take the day off. Guess we should hit up Gramps and let him know we're staying another night. Then let's find Makoto a massage place for tomorrow. I say the girl deserves it. Hell yeah, hey, she does. I'll locate the best venue there is. Yeah, I gotta say though, it is kind of rough having only one driver. We gotta get our licenses. I believe Haru has one already. That is true. Though I am pretty lacking in experience. <laughs> but don't you In other words, your driving is scary. If for any reason you're not up to it, I'll take the wheel. Huh? Oh, uh, well, as much as I appreciate that... Over my dead body. Is something wrong, Lakota? <laughs> you don't look so well. No, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> oh crap. We better dig in before the noodles get soggy. Oh, 
Damn, I'm stuffed. Oh, now I can die happy. I suppose I should also throw in the towel. Not a drop of soup remains. I could still take some more. I can't believe you guys got seven noodle refills. You think this was a ramen buffet? Well, I see you boys had quite the meal. I should mention, customers who order over five sets of noodles get a free souvenir bowl. <laughs> for real? Oh, thanks for the hookup, Pops. Oh, this should serve as good decor. Surely it will brighten up our vehicle's interior. Ramen bowl. Zenkichi's on the line. Hey, where are you guys? We're in Fukuoka. Sounds like you're going at a decent pace then. Anyway, I'm calling to let you know I think I found our guy. Oh, really? I'll give you more details in person. Saves us time and energy. Sorry it's so sudden, but how soon do you think you can be at Kyoto? Kyoto, huh? I explained why it might take a little longer than expected. Uh, Nijima's down for the count, huh? Damn. Of all the rotten luck, then what about a bullet train? Or, wait. Can't you ask Akumura? Doesn't she have a license? <laughs> All she'd have to do is take the Sanyoto from Fukuoka to Kyoto. Not a tough drive by any means. I hate to lay the pressure on, but we don't have much time. A lot rides on this. Zenkichi hung up abruptly. I should tell everyone what he wants. Maybe we don't get to stay Wait, an extra night. So he knows who the mastermind is? Finally, we get to bust this effing punk. Then let's leave tomorrow morning. Being tired is no excuse to delay our mission. As true as that is, careful not to hurt yourself, Makoto. Showtime. Hell yeah! Now we've done four jails, and I believe that there are seven total, so... Hey, how far is Kyoto from here? Roughly eight hours by highway. It's not too bad. We'll likely make it by sundown. Bathroom break's done, seats comfy, snacks ready for consumption! Are you okay to drive, Mako-chan? Honestly, I'm not at 100%, but I don't want to let you guys down. I see. <sighs> no. Then I'll drive. Mako-chan, I'm taking over! Huh? <laughs> I'm terrified. You know, Haru, you don't have to force yourself. I'm I'm scared. Makoto is looking paler than ever now. <laughs> she doesn't want to die. I don't want any of them you to don't die. Don't be nervous. Just take it nice and slow. <laughs> oh no. Haru. Oh no. This girl is like low key psycho. She's gonna be like a speed demon. Just watch. <laughs> I think I'll be just fine. In fact. I have a special technique that'll make your head spin. Oh my god. Uh, is she okay? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Uh, our, our lives are, are, are in your hands. They're, our lives are in your hands, Haru. Um, so I've never really told you guys this. Oh no. But the moment Haru's hands touch the wheel, get ready to shift into overdrive. <laughs> oh shit. We're gonna get pulled over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somewhere in Kyoto. Uh, they're not here yet, huh? Guess I'm a little early. Well, look at this. Maybe I'll just keep working on the. Look at this freaking dive bar. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Whoa, speak of the devil. <laughs> uh, well, you guys got here quick. I thought we were going to die. <laughs> I think we already did. <laughs> my soul's barely tethered to my body. Ara looks <laughs> fine. Okay. My apologies, Haru, but I... Request you steer clear of the driver's seat from now on. I only have so many lives left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meow Gon is unconscious. Wake him up. Hey, Meow Gon, I love what that. Happened? Um, I 
was just driving normally. I think. She's she's low key psycho. <sighs> oh, the room finally stopped spinning. You have a very uh, unique way of driving, Haru. Why, thank you, Monachan. She really shouldn't take it as a compliment. Regardless, I'm glad you guys made it here in one piece. By the way, what is this place? It seems unfit for a typical gathering of law enforcement. You could call it my secret base, I guess. Basically, it's a place to hold up if shit ever goes south. A good friend of mine used to run it. But now, it's just an empty old bar, suitable for investigating far away from any prying eyes. Okay. So this is like your hideout? More like a safe room. No, a safe house. Those newspapers, are they not from two years prior? Those newspapers are irrelevant. We have other business to discuss. Has to do with his wife. And let's hear it, Zenkichi. All right. Let me break it down for you bit by bit. I cross-referenced every name on the list we found in Okinawa. Based on our assumption that the mastermind would stand to benefit from changing hearts en masse, this is who he ended up with. Yeah, he sure looks like a skinny bastard. Don't I know it. Punchable face. To think he'd turn up now of all times. Ooh. Did he have something to do with your wife's death? Do you know him? No, not in particular. Uh, anyway, the man's name is Jun Owada. At 69 years old, he's on his 10th term as a legislator. Not only that, but he worked his way up to chief cabinet secretary of the ruling party. In short, he's not someone to mess with. They say he was a Masayu Shishido supporter during the election last year. Of course he was. Of course he Shido? was. Unbelievable. I never thought I'd hear his name again. Do you know him? He was a powerful foe. Yeah, one hell of an evil asshole. Oh, I didn't know. Sounds like you and Shido had quite the history. But we're not after him right now. That list contained a handful of Awada's political opponents. People he'd rather not have around. He would know that we were after Shido. Shido had a very, very public change of heart. <laughs> of course, of course we have a history with him. You know this, Zenkichi. That's a, that's a, the writers kind of slipped on that one. That was like national news. He was the freaking prime minister for a hot second. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so it's clear he's behind all this. However, I highly doubt he's doing his own dirty work. He'd have a heck of a time getting his political opponents to friend him on Emma. After checking his inner circle for sympathizers, I found out he's been meeting with a certain entrepreneur. Quite CEO often, of Medis. Said it before nice it popped guess. up. It's the CEO of Medis, all right. Akira Kanoe. Uh, isn't the CEO of Medis the guy we heard speak back in Sendai? I came across communication records between him and the director at Okinawa, and it showed they kept in contact. Then the pieces all fit. Yeah. Whenever Owada wants someone, there's got to be of more way, twist to it, though. He calls on Kanoe to take action, and the director at Okinawa was likely the one who arranged this. But now, it's too late to tell. Hold on. If Kanoe is the one changing hearts, does that make him a monarch too? But he's the CEO of Medis. Wouldn't he get one of his subordinates to do the job for him? I suppose it would be natural to assume that. But as you all know. In order to change someone's heart, you need to be their friend on Emma. We learned in the last gel that uh, that even the monarch's uh, desires have been taken. So, in other words, there's somebody controlling the monarchs as well. So it feels like there's somebody that took the desires of the monarchs, and then the monarchs in turn take the desires of their fans or whoever's attached to them, right? Everyone Owada associates with is a big-time elite. And Kanoe's the only one in their league. Besides, he's the head of a huge company. If anything, I think he'd want to be a monarch as well. He wouldn't want to risk his heart getting changed by someone else either. Another thing, the people on that list most likely had their hearts changed in Osaka. Huh? Why do you say that? Everyone on that list who went crazy had all traveled to Osaka at some point. That's also where Medisa's main office is, meaning there's a good chance we'll find a jail in Osaka with Kanoe as its monarch. So okay. no, the only way we'll know for sure is if Sophia senses it. I did sense a jail. Huh? Oh, 
right. We did pass through Osaka when I took a wrong turn. Sophia, you should have spoken up. I did speak up, but you guys were too busy to listen. <laughs> they were dying uh, inside. If it was when Haru was driving. <laughs> then they were likely too busy screaming for our lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to watch that scene happen. Well, that certainly makes things easier. So it's confirmed as a jail in Osaka. Now we just need to determine whether Konoe is the monarch or not. Wait, if you know that much already, why not cuff his ass right now? There's a reason. You're not allowed to touch him for some reason, aren't you? And he probably has something to do with your wife as well, and that's why you can't get the guy. Right. Now here's the issue. That list only spells out his motives and connections. It isn't solid proof that he's been changing hearts. We can't arrest him on speculation alone. The most we can do is conduct a search. And that's only with his consent. Hell, he could pack up and run if he wanted to. We don't have any legal authority over him. Another thing I noticed is how many high-ranking members of the force were on that list. You think he's changed their hearts too? To get the police in his pocket? Yeah, and from the look of it, not just the rank and file either. So that's why you called us here. Because you don't know who the real enemies are. I wonder if his uh, boss showed up on that list somewhere. The most I can do without being traced is some light investigation. And even then, that might be impossible. If it's the top brass we're dealing with, they might just leak the info and take action before I can lift a finger. In other words, the police are not our allies. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> you do realize I'm also a man in uniform? Anyway, it's obvious that going about this the regular way is out of the question. What we need is something a bit more uncanny. Something only you guys are capable of. Do you want us to change his heart? Right. If Konoe really is a monarch, we can corner him into a confession. That's right. We completely overlooked the fact that Konoe has a jail. But won't we need a keyword to gain access? Precisely why I had you rush over here. I'll be meeting Konoe at Medisa's corporate headquarters today. Interesting. Really? How'd you manage that? By going about it like a cop. Told them we had intel about a possible security leak involving their software. We received information about a possible party attempting to hack Emma. So on and so forth. Ooh, does somebody need a hacker? Not even that. I only said it to score me an appointment. At the end of it, I'll suggest he add me on Emma so I can answer any further questions. And we'll have ourselves a keyword. Pretty smart, actually. In his mind, I'll be just another pawn for the taking. So I'm pretty sure he'll take the bait. The moment I get the keyword... Don't overplay your hand. He I might be in pretty intelligent. I'll send it right over. That's what I've been meaning to tell you. Hope it was worth the drive. Wait, if you're going to head up their office, that means you're going to Osaka, right? Let us come with. The sooner we enter the jail, the sooner we can finish this operation. I'll bet you the CEO is a pawn as well. Fair, but there's a chance I might not get the keyword. Tagging along for nothing would be a wasted effort. Besides, doesn't Nijima need a breather? In fact, you all look like you need one. Can't really argue with that. Bottom line is, if you guys go down, so does everything I've worked for. So I need you fighting at your best. Got it. So our job's to wait until further contact. What the hell? I, now we gotta wait even more? Oh, you really wanna complain? Right when I'm about to tell you the big surprise I have in store for you? What big surprise? This is the spot Gramps got us? Am, am I losing my mind? Nice. No way. We really get to stay here? It looks like it costs a fortune. This is one of Kyoto's fanciest hot spring hotels. A single night averages 40,000 yen per person. Whoa! 40,000 yen? Holy shit! To be met with such extravagance after our harrowing journey. I am unsure how to process it. How's he paying for he it? He did say he could expense it, <laughs> but is he sure? Yeah, right? It's a lot of money for a police precinct to, uh... Maybe he's embezzling funds. <laughs> he can't be. <laughs> he really isn't. Right? Well, I sure hope not. He really owes Zenkichi a great big thank you. Okay, guys. Let's get in there. Right behind you. Ow. Oh, it's just as gorgeous inside. 
Dang, I don't want to end up breaking something. <laughs> First time I've seen Inari cry over something other than food. <laughs> what do you think, Maka-chan? Doesn't this seem like a great place to relax? It sure does. I saw a pamphlet mentioning how the hot springs here have a variety of natural health benefits as well. Then let's jump in already. Come on, come on! I'd like to jump in this time. Hey, guide me through the water like you did in Okinawa. <laughs> um, you probably should go with the ladies. Um, otherwise you're going to see something you really shouldn't see. Ask Kutaba. Why? Did I suggest something wrong? <laughs> Allowed to have phones in the bath? There was, in fact, a sign that forbids bringing cell phones inside the bathing area. No fair. But rules are rules. I guess I'll just wait. No, oh, I'm poor Sophie. There's always the bath in our room, Sophia. Once we're done, I'd be happy to take you in. Hooray! I'd like that, Haru. Why don't you join them, Yalgana? There's a shower for pets, too. I'm not a pet! <laughs> Yeah, come on, live a little. After we're done bathing, we can all enjoy some traditional Kyoto cuisine. According to the website, dinner is as follows. Crab, shabu-shabu, heirloom vegetables, and rice soup. Jesus. A veritable feast. Oh, First sounds good. First he cries, good. then he drools. You're a real leaky guy, Inari. Yeah, I'll save. Madis Headquarters, Osaka Reception Desk. Hey there, sorry to bother you. I had an appointment with Mr. Kanoe. I do apologize, but Mr. Kanoe is currently out on urgent business. Urgent business? Unfortunately, I don't have any more details. Please come back another day. Well, that didn't work Excuse out. Excuse me, but I was specifically told I could meet him here at this time? I'm sure, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but you'll have to come back again. What's going on here? Tokyo Police Department Director's Office. You called, sir? <sighs> what did Hi, I say? Commissioner, right on time. I told you. I told you she'd turn out to be bad. Here's a favor I'd like to ask you. And he is? Hmm. <sighs> Why, this is Mr. Owada. Much about him. Okay, maybe maybe this is just her, so Commissioner General. I'm guessing that's her boss. So maybe she isn't directly in the know. But uh, this higher up guy is definitely uh, not good. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Awada. Pleasure's all mine, Commissioner Kaburagi. I've heard much about you myself. He tells me you do... Uh, Marvelous job. Hmm. Now, I hear you're after the Phantom Thieves. Don't betray us, Kaburagi. They're the culprits behind the change of heart epidemic we keep hearing so much about. But we still lack concrete proof of that, actually. Well, I'm sure you do. But my source just provided me some info that could turn this case on its head. Recently, these Phantom Thieves tried hacking one of the biggest virtual assistant programs this nation ever produced. They tried hacking Emma? That's the one. Now they're looking to steal people's information, and not for conventional reasons. First, they get all the dirt on you. Then they make you confess whatever they feel is convenient for them. That's what this epidemic is. Now that's some <laughs> spin. I'll have you know I take my position very seriously. The future of our great country is at stake. Freaking and politicians, be man. I let some two bit terrorists run around thinking they're the ones in control. They must be arrested immediately. For my own peace of mind and that of the people. Commissioner General, what is this really about? Our legislators have decided that the Phantom Thieves can no longer run around unchecked. And we, as protectors of the law, simply wish to do what's right and assist them. There's also the matter of the next election, which 
I do hope to take part in. I'm sure you catch my drift. <laughs> You'd like some achievements under your belt. That's being very blunt about it. <laughs> but yes, as a matter of fact, I would. So am I to understand you want the Phantom Thieves arrested and the epidemic ended without any proof? I think Kabaragi might be on our side. You're also to understand that coming up with proof is part of your job. Hmm. I've already discussed this with Mr. Konoe, the CEO of Police. If anyone has the right to help us in this matter, it's him. You may not like to hear this, but it's too soon. What we call a change of heart epidemic, the public calls justice. They believe the Phantom Thieves are exposing society's evils. Suddenly apprehending them would only cause backlash. We should at least investigate whether they are really blackmailing and... They'll be charged with murder. Uh, they're gonna try and land that mur that Body suicide on us? Okinawa, at a research center for artificial intelligence. The victim was leading Emma's development. Once the Phantom Thieves discovered how to penetrate the system, they murdered the poor man. <sighs> now, I'm sure that that would easily be um, disproven. The guy's been dead for a long time. I'm sure that, like, all of them have very, very good alibis for where they were at the time. Hell, many of them were in different locations. Going to school, going to college, like... Yeah. Now, do you understand? Our country is in the midst of a burgeoning crisis. Huh. There's something in it for you, too. How would you like to call yourself Senior Commissioner? I'm sorry? You'll be on top of the entire force. I'm sure you won't be found wanting. The offer's on the table because we know you'd be right for the job. Hmm. <laughs> Then, I'll make it happen. If you two are giving the orders, then there's nothing more to question. I really hope that she's, like, playing both sides here. In other words, she's not gonna do this, but, like, she's just biding her time so that she can take these two down. That's what I'm hoping for right now. I want Kabaragi to be on our side, to not be a sleaze. Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd make the wiser choice. She seems like no nonsense. You really do show discretion. So I feel Perhaps like you could reach there's a chance. Commissioner General someday. And on your merit at that. Uh, I'm sure you do just fine. Thank you for the vote of confidence. If that is all, please let me assure you, the task is in capable hands. In the end, we're nothing but obedient dogs, barking only at those we've been ordered. So just don't do it, girl. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> this place is definitely- So many hot springs in this game. Water is indeed divine. We must absorb all the healing energy we can. You know, I hope Gramps is alright. The man is more dependable than he seems. I'm willing to take him at his word. We may not be waiting long. Once he gets Kanoe's keyword, we spring into action. So be ready at a moment's notice. Not right now, though. Well, maybe not at this very moment. Right now, it's relaxed time. Damn right. Wow, it's so huge. Look how it's laid out. Hmm? What are they on about this time? Could this be a mixed bath? Maybe that's why it's so empty. Oh, no, it's of course. So often. After 8 o'clock, it's women only. <laughs> I mean, they, they have to. They, they have to do this in every game, don't they? <laughs> The doors on the men's side should have automatically closed. Then I guess it's all ours. Whoops. Sweet! I'm gonna boil myself like an egg! <laughs> oh, you gotta be shitting me. Run! Where the hell are they here? We must have entered right when the time allotment switched. We 
need to leave. Now. No. It's too late. They're already here. Calm down, boneheads! Our honor is at stake here. As noble thieves, as gentlemen. We need to vanish without a trace. And for the sake Failing of our health. Death. Joker, let's begin the operation. Could stay here forever. I think I'm gonna melt. Great, you what screwed it up. Now? Solid snake, you are not. Is somebody here? <laughs> Were you peeping? Explain yourselves this instant. Uh, yeah, you pervs. Double, no, quadruple pervs. What do you, hey, it ain't what you think. See, the, the bath time changed right after we got in. Clearly, this is all just a misunderstanding. Oh, believe us, Lady On. We were locked in at the very last moment. Right. Do they not like have any staff that would like make sure that they cleared out if they were gonna do something like this? <laughs> it's got to be the hotel's fault. They should have cleared us out. You know. Damn, girl! And the towel stayed on! She's talented. She's very talented. I don't know how she did that. I'm impressed, though. Good job, girl. Fist of justice, indeed. Yep. We're in heaven, alright. Osaka, Dotenbori. <sighs> well, that was a fine waste of time. Now what am I going to tell him? I know I had an appointment. What kind of jerk ducks out on the police? We have some breaking news. Huh? Earlier, Akira Kanoe, better known as the CEO of Medis, held an emergency press conference, uh -oh. during which... He announced that Emma, his company's latest virtual assistant, will cease service for the time being. What? First, let me start by addressing our users and apologizing for any inconveniences that may affect you. All right, here. He's about to uh, blame. He's about to blame us. He's about to say that they're having to shut it down because we hacked in to their system. Emma's servers were indeed hacked. That much has been confirmed. Even more regrettable is the fact that some of your personal data was leaked in the attack. For that, I'm deeply sorry. As a company, they're laying a trap for us. How valuable your privacy is, and have taken appropriate measures to remedy this breach. That's why our company is suspending all instances of Emma until further notice. This will turn the people on us too. As for who was behind this horrendous attack, it was the Phantom Thieves. The very same terrorists causing all sorts of mayhem as of late. What? In addition to their heinous crimes, they've even murdered one of our very own. All to steal his research. From there, they had everything they needed to break through Emma's defenses. Murdered? That's bullshit! It seems we're the latest victim in what appears to be a string of related incidents. There are several other cases in which these criminals stole information and used it to harass their victims. If the Phantom Thieves are listening, I have a word for you, cold-blooded killers. We will never succumb to your threats. Not me, not my company, not Emma. You claim to want justice, yet you steal precious data and leave our finest for dead. I can't wait to see the day. That sums up the press conference. Jesus. The police have been notified regarding this case and are looking to arrest the Phantom Thieves as soon as possible. Now you're done it, Phantom Thieves. You goofed up big. They really went and bumped a guy off? Damn it! You just had to go and ruin Emma, too. What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Why 
Why is no one picking up? Are you guys okay? Hurry up and get out of there. Son of a... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Ma'am, entry secure. Screw you, Kabaragi. You know you're doing the wrong thing. Commissioner! <laughs> you're late. Is he gonna fall in line, or is he gonna... F Maybe. But you know this case isn't solved yet. Commissioner, I thought I told you at Okinawa. The Phantom Thieves have absolutely nothing to do with the change of heart epidemic. So how can something like this happen? It's as Mr. Kanoe stated. The Phantom Thieves are under suspicion for hacking into Emma and murdering the director of Medisa's research center. And you're going to take him Based at his on word? what? Where's the proof of right? any of this? You have to Thieves. have that. Do you think they'd ever sink so low as to murder? That director had died before they even... You seem awfully concerned about a group of criminals, Inspector Hasegawa. Ah, screw you, Kawaragi. Uh, uh... Have you forgotten they've been our leading suspects from the start? Put your feelings aside and focus. We cannot let these crimes go unpunished. What's more, I'm under direct orders from the Commissioner General. Disobedience is not an option. The Commissioner General? What does he have to do with any of this? Don't you sense something wrong here? There has to be more to it. Like when your wife died? Oh, fuck you. <sighs> Are you serious, girl? Really? I thought I told you back then. This organization is as rotten as it is immense. One cannot simply bend it to their will. Now, if you want to follow justice, learn to exercise restraint. I get what you're saying, but still, what the fuck? <clears throat> I think she's still trying Besides, to bide her time. You made a vow that to stop any atrocity, you'd endure any hardship. Like, I still think that she is on our side. She's just doing what she has to, but like, she doesn't have to be so freaking rude about it. Still makes me mad. I, I, I still hope that she does the right thing in the end, but I'm not 100% convinced. So endure for now. Your time will come. <sighs> it better. But they're not even. I will not forgive you if you betray Once us for I'm real, at the top, girl. I will bring the corrupt to their knees. Let my justice be your justice. They're not even criminals. They're kids. I've already made myself clear, <sighs> Commissioner. You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. How are we going to get out of this? He seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a phantom thief now? <sighs> Let me handle this. I believe you have a daughter who needs you. My daughter? Why, Dad? Why don't you even listen to me? You know who the real bad guy is! Aren't the police supposed to do what's right? Akane. What's he gonna do, though? It's time. Everyone ready? All units, move out. Hold it! Run. Run for it, all of you! <laughs> Idiot. You're under arrest. Interfering with an officer is punishable by law. Now you're a real phantom thief, my man. Oh, it almost brings a tear to my eye. The Phantom Thieves are next. Don't let them escape. Oh. Oh.
Zenkichi. Bro. He didn't betray us, not even for a second. Hey, it's me. The password. What pairs well with curry? <laughs> Coffee. Accepted. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, they're probably in the, the bar. What password is that? Yeah. Something only a true Libla aficionado would know. It's foolproof. Oh, man. How are we going to get Zenkichi? Shit. Did Shit. Did I really need a password? How are things out there, Monachan? Ugh, it's a nightmare. The streets are packed with cop cars, and there are foot patrols on every corner. For once, I'm actually glad I look like this. Ugh, this makes no sense. I thought part of our deal was that they wouldn't arrest us. Yeah, and now they're treating us like killers. It's total bullshit. This journey was supposed to prove our innocence, yet it only led to further condemnation. You don't think Gramps tricked us, do ya? It's impossible. He couldn't, right? Zenkichi put himself at risk to warn us. Without him, we'd be in much greater danger right now. And if Zinkichi-san really wanted to sell us out, the police would have showed up here, too. Yeah, so that's true. So let's stop doubting him, guys. That's true. Yeah, you're right. By the way, Sophia, thanks for getting us here safe. No prob. But how did all this happen? It's probably safe to assume this was something beyond Zinkichi-san's control. Bet you can always set it up, seeing how much bullshit he was spewing about justice. Well, we've wreaked havoc in four jails already. If Kanoe had created them, it would only stand to reason that he'd lash out now. But it could also be Owada. The politicians and Kichi told us about. How about all the above? Them may have us all profiled. <sighs> so what do we do now? Hey, why is Zenkichi's name on TV? Last night, the Kyoto Prefectural Police announced their arrest of Inspector Zenkichi Hasegawa for harboring fugitives. <sighs> Police headquarters have released a statement regarding this apparent scandal, which has been met with much confusion. You gotta be kidding. They're taking it out on Gramps? Why would they arrest him? <laughs> Remember the embezzlement. <laughs> you didn't embezzle, guys. Okay. Because he helped us. He sacrificed everything to save us. Then let's get off our asses and help him. Don't be reckless. We'll only be led into their trap, and that's exactly what they want. I get that, but... I'll try talking to Sis. Oh, right! Saya-san's a lawyer! Yeah, we need her help. I've kept her out of the loop so far, and I imagine she won't be too happy once I get Oh, right. she'll be pissed. There are more important things to worry about than her reaction. I'll see if she can help. Good. As for the rest of us, let's keep gathering as much information as we can. A certain police department in Kyoto, interrogation room. Ugh, damn it. I hope, oh, please tell me that Sai's gonna show up as his lawyer. Ah, oh, that bastard interrogator. It's like he enjoyed getting those hits in. I guess that's what I deserve. Oh. What the hell am I doing? Uh, should have just left those thieves alone. <laughs> then neither of us would be in this shitty situation. I couldn't even protect the ones I care about most. God damn it! Uh, wonder if they made it out all right. <laughs> As if that even matters anymore. Kane. Aoi. I'm sorry. I couldn't save anyone in the end. Zenkichi Hasegawa's home. Hey! Please stop touching our things! Since when can you enter someone's home without a warrant? You lack probable cause! <laughs> Whoa, not bad for an inspector's daughter. Listen, Akane-chan, was it? We have plenty of probable cause. See, your daddy's been arrested thanks to the Phantom Thieves. What? The Phantom Thieves got him arrested? No. No way that's true. I mean, why? <laughs> you really didn't know. I'm sure it's all over the news by now, TV and online. Now move along. 
we have work to do. Inspectors in Kichi Hasegawa of the Kyoto Police held under suspicion, arrested for harboring fugitives, the phantom thieves found responsible for murder and hacking Emma? That's impossible. What am I gonna do? Oh, this poor girl. Help me. They took everything too. The place is fucking empty now. Sure. How can I help you? Oh no, don't actually use Emma. Shit. This is bad. This is really bad. This is supposed to be shut down too. This is definitely Ooh, this is bad. I don't This is how they're gonna get to him. Ah, uh, it's through Akane. Shit. Oh no, I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this. Somebody's somebody needs to get hurt. We need to hurt somebody. Medis headquarters, Osaka President's Have office. Have the Phantom Thieves been caught? No, not yet. I've seen three-legged dogs work faster than the boys in public security. <laughs> well, they sure are tenacious. I guess that's how they made it this far. You think the police could uh, turn up the heat on their hot pursuit? If you're asking, I'll see what I can do. But in return, make sure you don't forget to set up a jail of mine as well. Oh, that's a given. Please, look forward to what I have in store. I mean, that basically just confirms that he's setting these up. Hmm. Doesn't get any clearer than that, shit. Emma? Yes, Akira. How may I help you? You think the cops can actually catch the Phantom Thieves? Considering the Phantom Thieves' unknown power, it may take a considerable amount of time. I was hoping to get you back online once we captured them. If it takes any longer, it may negatively impact our public image. Dude, this guy's just Tony Stark. <laughs> Maybe what I said on TV Evil Tony wasn't Stark. Exactly reassuring. He's even got these super intelligent right, AI to talk what's to. What's our best option? The fact that the Phantom Thieves can access jails poses a threat to our plans. Since we can't afford to wait for the police, we could always trap them in a jail and force a change of heart. Now there's an idea. After all, we wouldn't want to waste their precious talent. Good plan. How do we make it work? It would be best to make the Phantom Thieves come to us instead of chasing them. Perhaps we can use someone they're close <sighs> with as bait to lure them into a jail. That's a con, eh? oh. And you have someone in mind? Yes. Then that's who we'll go with. Emma, Emma you dirtbag. Make that person a monarch and have them capture the Phantom Thieves. Understood. Once they're in our grasp, we change their hearts to our liking. And if that proves impossible, they die. So are they going to try and make Akane a monarch then? She does have a following. She's got her, her online show. Shit. Should we notify Mr. Owada? No. Let him be. In order to cleanse this world of evil, nothing will get in my way. And you, Phantom Thieves, you will be the sacrifice to bring about my new world order. So... I got a hold of my sister. All right, well, on that note, we're going to end this episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.